Hello everyone, I am Mohit and I am going to present our work on Gaussian process based learning control of aerial robots for precise visualization of geological outcrops. Here is the outline of this presentation. I will talk about each one of them in detail as we go along. I will start with the motivation of this work. Visualization of geological outcrops refers to the process of creating virtual 3D models of the offshore fields. It has been extensively utilized for geoscientific purposes, including but not limited to teaching, for instance, giving virtual field trips, exploration and mapping of offshore reservoirs, and calibration and validation of the geo models to account for the upscaling process. Traditionally, this process is performed by airborne laser scanning, which involves the usage of aircraft based LIDARs. But now, manual visualization via a piloted aerial robot is gaining preference due to the lower cost. However, several challenges still limit its widespread usage, which includes flights over straight paths require consistent adjustment of camera focus, thus resulting in blurred images. Then, maintaining a specific overlap is difficult in the presence of strong winds. Besides, the pilot must continuously steer to always face the outcrop. Moreover, as the visualization process requires hours of data collection, hiring a skilled pilot gets expensive. Therefore, motivated by these challenges, we propose a fully autonomous visualization solution in this work. Now, let me present our autonomous visualization solution. There are two aspects to the proposed approach. The first aspect is the navigation algorithm that generates a suitable mapping path while maintaining a specific distance to the outcrop. This recommends the continuous autofocusing requirement, thereby resulting in consistent quality images. Additionally, by utilizing the data from the two inclined distance sensors, the navigation algorithm also commands the yaw angle such that the robot always faces the outcrop. As the second aspect, we incorporate a non-linear model predictive controller in conjunction with a Gaussian process-based regression technique, wherein the NMPC tracks the generated trajectory while the GP learns the wind disturbance forces. Thanks to the long short-term memory feature of the designed GP model, disturbance forces are accurately learned. Consequently, a precise tracking performance is realized from the NMPC. In terms of the control framework, we design NMPC as a high-level position controller that takes the trajectory reference from the navigation algorithm. By solving the formulated optimal control problem, NMPC commands the attitude angles and throttle to the low-level controller performing the attitude control. This results in the conventional NMPC-based position control, which is unfortunately sensitive to uncertainties. Hence, we utilize a GP model that learns the external disturbances acting on the robot and thus making an NMPC adaptive to the changing environment. Furthermore, the accurate learning ability of the designed GP model is mainly credited to the long short-term memory feature. In a sense, each GP model consists of two sub-GP models. The first sub-GP model is designed with the data collected for the first 15 seconds and thus represents the long-term memory. The second sub-GP model, on the other hand, is designed based on the data collected over a past window with 200 samples. Additionally, this window moves forward in time, thus granting it the short-term memory feature. Finally, the overall GP model is constructed by concatenating the two sub-GP models. Next, I will illustrate a case study wherein we implemented the proposed technique for the visualization of a chalk query in Denmark. For this purpose, we utilized an off-the-shelf quadrotor platform, the Geometries 100, with certain modifications. Most importantly, its flight controller is replaced with a Pixel flight controller to command it in the ROS environment. Besides, sensors including RTK GPS, LiDAR light, and PX4 flow are added for precise outdoor localization. Additionally, three Terra Ranger distance sensors are mounted which besides providing the feedback for wall distance, also facilitate computation for the desired yaw angle. Furthermore, the robot houses an NVIDIA Jetson PX2 onboard computer to run the control codes. Next, I present the high-level quadrotor model in its discretized form, which is utilized in the NMPC design, wherein tail vector comprises of three translation position and three translation velocities. The control vector includes the three attitude angles and the throttle command. In this work, we consider the overall model to be comprised of an a priori known nominal function Ft and an unknown function Gd. We have obtained the known function Ft 
based on these equations which are obtained via the first principle approach. On the other hand, we write the function gd as a disturbance model representing the discrepancy between the known nominal function and the observed system behavior. Next, I present the design of the high-level NMPC. For tracking the given position trajectory, the high-level NMPC is designed utilizing a least square problem formulation wherein the state, control, and parameter vectors are taken like this. Also, these are the utilized state and control reference trajectories, control constraints, and utilized weight matrices. Furthermore, we have selected the prediction window size as 30. We first evaluate the performance of the learning framework in the gazebo-based simulation environment of the outcrop, wherein the time-varying wind disturbances are introduced along x and y directions. Here, one may also notice that the navigation algorithm adaptively commands the yaw angle such that the robot always follows the curvature of the outcrop. In the beginning, the robot flies with a conventional NMPC until the GP model gathers data to initialize its submodels. Once the GP model is initialized, it provides the learned disturbance forces to the NMPC. As can be visualized in these plots, the Euclidean error is substantially reduced due to the GP-based learning. The wind disturbance forces in the simulations are generated utilizing this expression, wherein delta represents the directional vector, mu is the mean force, t is the time period, and sigma is the standard deviation of the added white Gaussian noise. Within the simulation results, these parameters are selected like this. Furthermore, the learning performance of the GP is compared with the nonlinear moving horizon estimator, which is designed mostly like an MPC, but with the following reference control trajectory. Here is the plot that depicts the learned disturbances from NMHE and GP-based regression together with the true values. As can be seen, the learned disturbance forces from GP are significantly more accurate when compared to the NMHE, which is mainly credited to the underlying LSTM feature. Also, the corresponding tragic tracking performance of the conventional NMPC without learning, the NMHE NMPC framework, and the GP NMPC framework are shown in this figure. For a quantitative comparison, next, we plot the absolute errors along the three directions and the Euclidean error from each controller and list their mean values in the table. As can be visualized, in terms of the corresponding mean absolute errors, the GP and MPC framework improves the tracking performance by 36, 22, and 33 percent over the conventional NMPC, whereas by 22, 11, and 18 percent over the NMHE and MPC framework. On the other hand, in terms of the mean Euclidean error, the GP and MPC framework results in the improvement by 36 percent over the conventional NMPC and by 23% over the NMHE and MPC framework. To further evaluate the robustness of the GP and MPC framework to various levels of wind disturbances, we also conducted some statistical analysis. Herein, the mean is varied between 1 to 5 Newton and the time period is varied between 2 to 20 seconds, whereas the added noise is kept the same. As can be seen, the Euclidean error values increase with the disturbance mean for the conventional NMPC and the NMHE and MPC framework. Whereas, in the case of the GP and MPC framework, the error rise is negligible. Thereafter, we tested the algorithm in a chalk query located in Olbo, Denmark. Again, the robot starts with conventional NMPC and switches to the GP and MPC framework after the GP model gathers the required data. In the real world test, also, the robot with the GP and MPC framework accurately tracks trajectory command from the navigation algorithm. During this experiment, the controller codes are executed on board the TX2 with a sampling frequency of about 50 Hz, while the GP codes are running with approximately 17 Hz on a laptop. Also, the robot flies with conventional NMPC for the first 42 seconds and subsequently switches to the GP NMPC framework here are the trajectory tracking results for the conventional NMPC and the GP NMPC framework and the disturbance estimation results for the GP, wherein the 95% confidence interval is also depicted to evaluate the predictions. One may notice that the predicted values are significantly noisy, resulting in the wider confidence intervals, especially for Y disturbance, even though some pattern is visible for X and Z disturbances.
The main reason for obtaining such noisy estimates is essentially the noisy feedback that is provided to the GPs for regression. Here are the absolute error and Euclidean error plots for both the controllers and their corresponding mean values are listed in the table. In summary, the GP and MPC framework realizes the corresponding mean absolute error improvement of 2, 26, and 59% and the mean Euclidean error improvement of 22% over the conventional NMPC. To conclude, in this work, we have aimed to tackle the challenges associated with manual flights of failed robots for generating virtual outcrops in offshore environments. Essentially, we have employed a GP-based regression technique for learning the wind disturbances which update the model of a position tracking NMPC. Both simulation and real-world testing have validated a precise tracking performance by the GP and MPC framework over its conventional counterpart. Furthermore, the simulation tests have also manifested the superior learning ability of the LSTM feature-based GP model over the NMHE. With this, I would like to thank you for your attention and suggest referring to the paper for further details.